Welcome to Golf the BRX's winning What's in the Bag. This week, we take a look at the 2024 Players Champion, Scotty Scheffler. So, unfortunately, this means it's pretty much the same What's in the Bag as last week with Scotty Scheffler winning the Arnold Palmer Invitational. But, great win, great weekend of golf, really exciting to come down to the wire. And in Scotty's bag, let's start at the top like we always do. In his bag, the driver is the TaylorMade QI10. This is an 8-degree head. And it's actually a little bit special. It is the dot head. So as we said last week, the, the TaylorMade QI10 dot head uh, is a head that was designed specifically on tour. It's not sold at retail. And it seems to be, from what we can understand, lower spinning than the retail QI10. So it's not quite as low spinning as the LS, but not as high as the retail head. It sits right in between. I had a friend of mine actually who has one send me a picture of it, and it sits dead square. Looks really good at address. His is an 8-degree head. It's actually an 8.25-degree head, but it's marked 8 degrees. The shaft in his is a Fujikura Ventus Black 7X. Uh, that comes in around 78 grams. The hosel setting on his is set to upright, so it's still playing at 8.25, but upright. Uh, the length is 45 inches and a swing weight of D4. We move on to 3-wood, and 3-wood is, again, a tailor-made QI10 standard head, 3-wood head at 15 degrees. This is shafted up with a Fujikura Ventus 8X, so extremely stout, comes in around 85 grams. Uh, the handle is ultra stiff, midsection is stiff, and then the tip is ultra stiff as well. Low launch, low spin, very stout uh, for a heavy 3-wood shaft. Then we move into his irons, and he actually uses two utility irons. So the first utility iron is his 3-iron, and it is a older Srixon ZU85. So this was made a couple generations ago, and it's actually slightly larger than the current ZX Mark II that's out now. Uh, it is a ZU85 3-iron head, which is 20 degrees, and it's shafted with a Nippon Ghost, or Nippon Pro Modus Ghost prototype. So the Modus Ghost is actually stands for Graphite on Steel Technology. So what the shaft is is a very thin, lightweight steel shaft wrapped with carbon fiber and bonded together. It offers kind of a mid-launch, mid-spin profile, and it's actually a very similar EI profile to the Pro Modus 105 that Nippon makes. The next iron, utility iron in his bag is another Strixon ZU85, this time the 4-iron variant, and it comes in at 23 degrees. Now again, these Strixon heads are a little bit older. These also, by some people's eye, have just a little bit more offset to them as well, which offset I know and some of us don't like it, uh, but a lot of pros do actually find offset uh, something they like to look at. It is shafted up with the same shaft in this irons, a True Temper Dynamic Gold Tour Issue X100. And the Tour Issue versions of, of X100s are just sorted to a much tighter weight tolerance, plus or minus half a gram, which is about as tight as you can get on a steel shaft. Irons are going to be the, of course, iconic TaylorMade P7TW. These are Tiger's Blades, the ones that they that he helped TaylorMade design. They're kind of built to his specs. Uh, they've got a little longer blade length, uh, and they've got a little bit more of a progressive face height from 4-iron down to pitching wedge. A lot of pros play these uh, from TaylorMade staff, uh, and even some who are not on TaylorMade staff. Uh, these, again, like the Srixon Utility Iron, are shafted up with True Temper Dynamic Gold Tour Issue X100 shafts. Now, the wedges are going to be Titleist Vokey wedges, but they're a little bit older than the SM8s. The gap wedge is a 50.12F grind, and the 56 is a 56.14F grind. So these ones here, the F grind, uh, is a little bit more traditional. It's kind of a full sole, really uh, bodes well for full face shots uh, with these wedges. Uh, has a little more bounce. They get through the turf just a little bit better on softer conditions or steeper swings. The 60 degree is a Titleist Vokey design Wedgeworks 60, but it's bent to 60 and a half degrees, and it's a T grind. So the T grind is kind of the narrowest sole that Vokey offers. It's low bounce, has a ton of heel, toe, and trailing edge relief, and it offers the kind of ultimate in versatility for players who are looking to open the face and uh, play different types of shots and manipulate the, manipulate the club. These are all, all three are shafted with True Temper Dynamic Gold. Tour Issue S400s, so these are a little bit softer, uh, but a little bit heavier than the X100s he has in his irons. Uh, these come in about 132 grams, uh, and you know have a similar kind of low launch, low spin profile as the X100s. 
Now the putter is, of course, the putter he switched into last week, uh, and this is going to be the Spider Tour X. Uh, it is the L neck version, and I know if you look at the sole in the photos, you'll see a little X1 up near the face, and that basically just stands for the, it's the L neck Spider Tour X. Uh, if you go and look at a slant neck, I think it says X3, uh, and then there's also a double bend version and, and a center shaft as well that all have slightly different markings, but the X1 just means it's the L neck model. Uh, and L neck can also mean plumber's neck uh, for those of us who, who kind of use that term instead. Uh, it's 35 and a half inches long. The lie degree is actually two degrees upright, and the loft is the standard three degrees of loft. The insert is the Surlin uh, Pure Roll, and this insert there, again, it's Surlin. It's kind of a plastic type material for a softer feel, and it's got the Pure Roll grooves in it to offer more forward roll and less skidding and hopping uh, at impact. Uh, the grip on that is a Golf Pride Pro Only cord, and it's the 88cc grip uh, with the green star on it. It's got a little more oval shape on the bottom half to fit into the palms of your hand, uh, and it's that gray color. It's also, I think, well, the firmest grip that Golf Pride makes for the putter at the moment. Uh, the rest of his grips uh, on his clubs are Golf Pride Tour Velvet Ribbed, uh, and rib basically means that on the underside, uh, there's a little extra rubber material uh, built in there, and when it sits in your hand, there's actually a little kind of like line that you feel in the pads of your fingers, kind of reminding you where the club is square, uh, and a lot of players on tour use these rib grips. And then the ball is, of course, the Titleist Pro V1, and this is the Pro V1. Compared to the Pro V1X, it is a little more penetrating in terms of ball flight, low, long game spin, still got a lot of stop and, stop and drop green side control, but the Pro V1, as we know, uh, is uh, one of the probably most popular balls on tour. So that is the winning What's in the Bag for Scotty Scheffler at the 2024 Players' Championship. Again, congratulations to him, and check back next week when we take a look at the winner's What's in the Bag.